Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to add a nice little convenience feature to our script by utilizing outputs to display information we need. As you well know, we've been manually finding the public IP address of our instances to verify them. Well, that is incredibly inefficient, so let's go ahead and add an output to make this a little easier. So as you can see, we've got output values here, and basically it's incredibly simple to do so. This, of course, is how to access a private IP. Well, we're just going to access the public IP. As you can see, we've got a lot of other features as well, such as the ability to mark an output sensitive so that it doesn't show up on the command line. You've also got a depends on feature as well. We're not gonna dive into that, but we are just going to go ahead and access that public IP of our instance. So if you run Terraform console, you can then access all those attributes of our instance and kind of play with them to see what output we're going to get. As you remember, it is AWS instance dev node. So if we just type AWS underscore instance dot dev underscore node dot public underscore IP, there it is. So that's very, very simple. And as you know, you can use Terraform show or Terraform state show to get all of these attributes that you could use for outputs. So if I get out of this console and run a Terraform state show, and of course, we'll just use, once again, AWS instance.dev node, just like so. We can see all of the possibilities that we can use to output. As you can see, we could output instance types, and here is public IP. So that's what we did. We just accessed that. So let's go ahead and create this output. What we're going to do is just create a new file, outputs.tf. Once again, you could add it to our main.tf, but we just want to clean things up a little. So output, and we'll just call this dev IP, open and close those braces, value equals AWS instance dot dev underscore node dot public IP. Just like so, that's all we have to do. Now to access this output, we may not want to destroy our entire deployment just because we added an output. What we can do is just run a terraform apply dash refresh only. And that's basically just going to consider this output and add it to the state so that we can get to it. Just like so, as you can see, we've got changes to outputs. So that's perfect. So let's go ahead and run this. Apply complete, that's it. And then we can run Terraform output, just like so, to see our output once again. And this is very, very useful in automation. Now, if we take a look in our TF state, scroll all the way to the top, we can see our outputs are right here. So it's very easy to see what we need to see. So outputs are incredibly useful, and there's a whole lot you can do. You can get very creative with what types of outputs you get. But for our purposes, all we need to know is that IP address, which matches the one that we use to SSH into that instance. So go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one and let's continue the course.